In this video you're going to learn how to create an epic zoom in and zoom out effect that you can use to take your video call screen sharing to the next level or to create professional video tutorials. You'll be able to keep the overview of your content on your monitor, but let the audience see more clearly the part of the screen that you want to focus on, where you want to focus on small details that without zoom would be difficult to see. Interested? Then let's go and do it together! I'm actually using the zoom in zoom out effect for this tutorial. And as an example, I've created a Microsoft whiteboard. To create the zoom in zoom out effect, we'll need to download OBS Studio and a plugin that's called Move Transition. These are both free. I have two great videos on both of these steps. So if you're not familiar with OBS and the Move Transition plugin, go watch the videos and then come back here. I'll be waiting for you. So now step three is to create different scenes. OBS by default comes with an empty scene. This is where I will put the full screen. So I'll rename it to full screen. In the sources panel, I will add a display capture source. I have multiple displays. So I'll name this source large screen and then choose the appropriate screen where I have the whiteboard open. What we're going to do is really simple. We'll create a scene for each part of the screen that we want to zoom in. I'm going to show you an example where I've divided my screen into nine parts. So let's start by duplicating the full screen scene and renaming it to top left. Let's now take the handles of the large screen source in the top left scene and drag them a little bit beyond the midpoint. Let's now duplicate the top left scene, rename it top center and let's use the same source without changing its size. But let's only move it such as the source midpoint is in the middle of our window. And let's now duplicate the top center scene, rename it top right and move the source to the far right. In a similar way, let's create a center right scene in a way that the midpoint on the right edge is in the middle of the right edge of our window and so on for all other scenes. At the end, we'll have one full screen and nine different zoomed in scenes. If we now switch from one scene to the other, the effect looks okay. The default scene transition is fade, but we can do much better than that. That's where the Move Transition plugin comes handy. With the plugin, we'll be able to create a great zoom in transition. So let's go to Scene Transitions, add a Move Transition. We don't need to change any of the default settings. So just click on OK and let's see how it looks like. Already much better, but the zoom in zoom out effect is a little bit too fast for my taste. So I'll change the transition duration from 300 milliseconds to 750 milliseconds. Now it looks perfect. Just a second, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button so more people will be able to see it. It would be a pain if we had to click on each scene every time we want to zoom in or zoom out. To make it easier, we can assign to each of the scenes a hotkey. To do that, go to Files, Settings, and then hotkeys. My suggestion is to use a key combination that you will not accidentally press for any other purpose. If you want to do it like me, I'm using the Ctrl key and the numerical pad at the right of my keyboard. I'll assign a Ctrl asterisk to the full screen scene and then Ctrl 7 to the top left, Ctrl 8 to top center, Ctrl 9 top right and then control four, five, six to center left, center, center and center right respectively and control one, two, three to bottom left, bottom center and bottom right scenes. So I can now work with my mouse on the whiteboard and just press control and the corresponding scene key when I want to zoom in or zoom out. That's even more convenient if you have a stream deck when you can program the keys and switch scenes much more easily. By the way, I do have an Elgato stream deck and I do have a video on it. If you're interested, check it out in the description. Okay, we're ready. So if you're producing a tutorial, simply click on Start Recording. If instead you want to share the content on video call, then click on Start Virtual Camera, open Zoom, and now you have two options. You either select the OBS Virtual Camera as your primary camera, so the audience will be able to see your screen through your main video window, or if you're already using your webcam as your primary camera, you can always share screen, go to Advanced, and then select Content from second camera. Click on the switch camera at the left until you see the content from your OBS virtual camera appearing. You're all set to be a screen share hero now. 
And now if you got curious about Microsoft Whiteboard, watch this video now.